Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome to Purgatius. Purgatius? Purgatius. Like purgatory, but Proteus. You all remember Proteus, don't you? We played a while ago on the channel, and then had a, a second playthrough during a live stream that was rather interesting. Uh, but this is basically a mod for Proteus, made by Devin Lu Linvega? Linvega? Difficult to pronounce name, but uh, he created this basically by replacing all of the resources, all of the, the images, I suppose, the models, the music, obviously, uh, and and they're calling it, you know, basically a video game remix. Remix. No, sorry, I apologize, but <laughs> it, it's a video game remix. The the essence of the game exists here, Proteus, but uh, the entire feel, everything about it, has changed, and we're gonna check it out here today. Uh, basically, it's available for free. This mod is available for free. You do, however, have to have the paid-for version of Proteus in order to apply the mod too, which is going for about 10 bucks, I think, depending on if you get it on Steam or the Humble Store or wherever. But we're gonna check it out here, and obviously, Purgatius is a play on Purgatory and Proteus. Proteus itself. Let's get this started, actually. Click on the Iceland to begin. Alright. Uh... Proteus. Proteus was kind of a, a dark game, especially the ending, to begin with. But we're gonna check out how one could make it even, even more sinister. With what the color palette has completely changed. Of course, as you remember from Proteus, you start out in the open. Got to approach this island, and there was a, a thing about transforming the different seasons throughout the seasons, and then you go from fall to summer to spring, or well, not in that order, obviously, and then winter, and then you... you end up dying <laughs> at the end, seems like, anyway. But yeah, here we are, back in Proteus, but Purgatius! Purgatius, it's very difficult to say. So yeah, everything is... a lot... more stark... and different. The music, uh, you know, that was the thing with with Proteus, is it was basically a musical, a musical exploration game. You would interact, not really interact, but just approach and observe different objects like this froggy thing, and and they would play different quote unquote music, little parts of music. They don't seem like this animal makes music in this version of the game. Purgatory is, is a place without sound. It is void. Void of sound and stuff. So yeah, really, the, the goal, I suppose, is to find that little circle. That little circle area with the stones that makes the, the time fast forward, although you do kind of have to wait. Oh, the clouds are rolling in. You do have to kind of wait for nighttime to arise, I believe. Oh, is that like the sun? Are there multiple suns? I see like two suns. Here's like a... As opposed to the dirt road, we get a nice blood path of blood and disgusting doominess. Oh! It's a ring. It's an eternal annular eclipse. Yeah, so far everything seems very dead <laughs> and not alive. <laughs> uh, there were like little castles and things too. I'm sure those have changed. Remember the mountains, we can get above the cloud tops with the mountains. Ooh. So let's do that, let's do some mountain climbing. Oh! Ugh. Stuck in the mud. All right, we are up on the mountain top, and the clouds are indeed rolling in over there. Oh, I think there's a, a castle over there. But I do, I, I do, I do hear the howling winds. That sun is interesting. <laughs> uh, let's maybe try to make it to that castle. I don't know if there was much in this direction that I see that sticks out too much. So yeah, over 
Just follow this direction. Whenever you're, you're traveling in one direction while it's hiking or if you're lock, lost in the wilderness, just pick... Pick two trees and walk from one to the next to keep a straight line. So yep, there's that castle. Science! Survival instincts. Bear grills and whatnot. <laughs> oh, there's one of those little uh, huts. Kind of a viking, a, a viking hut. Oh yeah, it's more of like a cathedral now than castle. These things seem relatively unchanged. Except for that little symbol over the door, I'm not sure what that's all about. Let's go check out... The Cathedral! The Castle of Doom and Purgatoriness and whatnot. Interesting? <laughs> Pretty... Nondescript. Nothing really going on here. A key! A key to the, the other side? Is that what that is? The sun is setting. And the moon... Whoa! That was weird. What the heck was that about? It was a flash of darkness. The moon is, is equally ringed. Which is strange. So perhaps it's not an eclipse after all. Oh, those clouds are moving fast! Or perhaps this is a four-body system. We've got four, three moons, one of which is covering the sun, and then another of which is... Or no, I suppose it could be three. One moon covering the sun, and then our own Earth-ish shadow. Okay, no, no, that's just the way the lights are, because look at all the stars. My astronomy equations and th thesauruses? No, uh, thesis is, is, is false. False and un unfounded. It's very spooky. Yeah, even though the, uh, like I said, Proteus, the ending especially, was kind of a dark thing. There's that owl. The game itself, especially the beginnings in the summertime, Ooh! Oh, that's oh, that's where the okay. It's it's leading me towards the circle. Uh, the beginnings of the game, there was a lot of like ding ding ding. You know, there was a lot of wind chimes and and happy frogs and things and none of that here. <laughs> I barely saw any bugs or there were bugs and little flowers that would dance around. I'm suddenly feeling very depressed. Ooh, all right, we're following the red blood road of doom and destructionness towards, yeah, what I think is the little fairy circle that starts the acceleration of time. So I think we should just get right down to it and become time travelers. Let's see, like, what changes next for the next quote-unquote season. Ah, uh, yee. Yeah. Things are happening. Yeah, see? Oh, oh, there's that, that castle thing. Alright, and then I think to make it actually change is where we step into the circle. Ah, oh, meteors and destruction and purgatory and whatnot. Okay. Alright, so this is, I suppose, the... Oh yeah, the summertime. <laughs> I can I can hear the music from from Proteus, like it's very like happy and like summertime, yay! But uh, we are not getting any of that here today. Yeah, those little jumpy guys don't make any noise. Oh, here are the bees. <laughs> Woo! Okay, yeah, I remember. Get near the bees and they make you fly really fast. I guess it's the, help me, I'm being stung by bees reaction. Ooh, what is this business? That's new. There are rifts in the sky in the space-time continuum. All right, that castle I've already been to. Let's try to explore a different part of the island. 
I've reached the other side of the island and the ocean is now blood. It's blood. It's blood everywhere. It's gross. Unsanitary. Oh, here's these little crabby guys. They would go. I'm kind of wishing and I'm hoping I installed the mod correctly. I don't normally work with uh, game mods because <laughs> I always tend to screw things up. Uh, I kind of wish that there were... There seems like there's less interaction here because there aren't the sound effects, say, with those little crabby turtley guys or uh, those little bat ra babbits, rabbits and the owl and things, you know, all kind of added to the ambience. Oh, wait, I heard something. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's something going on. I'm not sure what I'm interacting with there. Were they the... Oh, was that those little, uh... planty things? They kind of disappeared on me. Dow! Y'all heard that, right? I'm not just going crazy. All right, the sun is setting. I'm kind of very lightly circumnavigating the island here. Oh, there's I remember. They're the little uh, statues, figures, things. I suppose for reference, that's where that castle. I think that's the same castle that I was just up at, but now I'm over on this side, up in the clouds. Yeah, these things used to make noise too, but. Unless it's incredibly subtle, I'm not picking up on it. It's over here. Oh, there's a... Oh, wait, no, is that the... Maybe that's the... What? What? No, no, that's the same thing. Okay. Confused. So very confused. The sun is, is setting. Things are turning a an interesting reddish hue. What is that? What have I found over here? It's a blimp! Oh, I'm really running fast now as well. Have I touched some bees? What in the world? Huh? What am I looking at here? Interesting. It's a very large tree. Crazy. Bulbous. It's a bulbous top on this tree. With tubes. Tubes! Alright, let's, uh, now that the sun has set, let's see about finding that fairy thing again. Oh, I see some moving particles. Is it that way? It might be that way. There's the Milky Way. There were, I think, in the second and third nights, like a Northern Lights thing going on. I want to see how they reskinned that. That'd be very interesting. Ah, there it is. All right, we're approaching the circle of circleness. Circleiness. Let's get our circle on. Come on. Oh, suddenly the music, it has shifted. Ah, uh, am I in the circle? I'm in the circle. Hold on. E oh, now it's raining. Oh, okay, this is like the fall. This is a little bit more appropriate. Oh, yep, all the things are dying. Sucks to be you guys. <laughs> uh, what a jerk. <laughs> Even in purgatory, he's a jerk. The souls are trying to escape. Come back. Take me with you. Or make some noise or something. Yeah, it might be really subtle. Maybe like the other noises are just those really subtle like tones that I'm just not picking up. Even with my headphones. Could be wrong. 
Yeah, like this noise. <laughs> As if everything else in the game isn't a variation of <laughs> uh, I've been here already. Uh, it seems to be a little bit uh, smaller of an island. I think they're totally random. And there's actually some options. They might have added to Proteus that I just haven't paid attention to, but there's options for the... Like this noise, like this very loud pitch noise. Uh, there's options that to change the size or the what I think they call the the craziness of the uh, the landscape. Yeah, like are these things making this noise now? This this high pitched? I don't know. I must. No, I think that's part of the music. See, I almost feel like it's just music playing in the background. And a little bit less interaction than the original Proteus had. Alright, well here's something I've noticed. I started walking towards this second castle, and well, the clouds are starting to approach us, but... When you walk in the water, this appears to be some sort of lake. I don't remember having a lake before, but... Yeah, when you're in water, the music is definitely different, so there is some... Some variation there. The rain clouds. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't, I don't remember. Well, again, they're completely random, procedurally generated, much like your Minecraft worlds. But watch as I step outside of the lake, the water, the music changes. There's like an. I'm hearing an underlying beat. There's some sort of. Empire Star Destroyer out there or something, or or possibly a triangular cloud, whatever. As the sun sets here. Yeah, okay, we've got two cathedral-y thingies. And one set of these three-headed statues. I wonder what's out here. Is there anything out here on this peninsula? No, doesn't seem to be. A few trees. Cliff face. Huh. And there's that giant tree with the tubes! Oh gosh, what's going on? Oh gosh. Okay, this is a sudden change. Is this because I came up here? Let's go back down. I was just walking up towards <laughs> this other uh, castle here. Oh! What is... okay, well that's new. This is new. I'm just hanging out down here. I was paying attention to some of the supernovas that were happening in the sky. Oh, what is this business? Alright, now things are getting interesting. Things have begun to change. Yeah, watch as... Things begin to rise out of the ground. Kind of mimicking this... Now this is a different castle. This one has three sides with keyholes on them. Oh, and a different octagon there. Two sides with keyholes on them. Did this happen at the last one? I don't think this happened at the last one. I was It was during the daytime. Huh. That's new. That's interesting. And there's all these, these floaty triangles. As I come down, I believe these... Oh, maybe they won't. Oh, yep, they do. And then the beat comes back. Drop the beat! Alright, let's try to find... That's interesting. Let's try to find the, uh... The circles for the fairies. Um... I think... Is that it over there? No, that's the... Uh, the galaxy. Ooh. The music, it changes. There's that again. What is this business? Hold on, I have to... I have to see for myself! Science! We must poke the hornet's nest! Ooh! Hi! Ooh! 
Interesting. I've done something by doing that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, the trees have all changed to circles. Circle gets the square. All right, I'm gonna try to find this fairy thing to accelerate time, because I think then we'll be on the last day. Our final day of purgatory. It's kind of, oh, huh. It's kind of, kind of not the definition of it, but all right, here we go, here it is. Found it. The triangles will lead me there. Ooh. Begun the process. Into a tighter circle here. I. <laughs> This doesn't look good. Doesn't look good for old Kurt J. Mack. Yeah, I really didn't notice when the trees changed. Now they have circles. It's very cloudy. Let's try to get above the clouds here. Out of the way! Collections of moisture floating in the sky. All right now, I wonder if was that big tree the tree I need to go to, or is there a new big tree? Because I don't think I, I'm trying to remember what happens in Proteus. Or will I just begin to ascend, regardless? All right, let's head over to the that uh, is that one closer. Let's head over to this. Castle, this church, this cathedral type thingamabob. We see if we can get those spires to peek up out of the horizon like we got before. That was surprising. We have lost in the last day. We lost the the blood uh, trail, <laughs> the trail of blood. We we lost it. Somebody cleaned it up finally. But. The music suddenly changed. Upwards. Alright, let's see. I feel like that was related to getting so close to the cathedral, but now it's... Now it's not happening. Those spires that came out of the horizon. Oh, now we're really far away from everything. Dang it! Oh, here's some triangle trees. Triangle trees, triangle trees. <laughs> oh, that's the ocean. Dang it. Did I see something over here? Yeah, I did. This is the same island? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm scared. I know eventually I'm going to start rising. Oh. Snowflakes. Shrubberies. Oh. Oh. How did I not see this before? Was this not here before? It's like a graveyard. A yard of graves. <laughs> that's weird. Oh, and there is. Is that that? I think that's the tree. Did I not come over here before? Oh. I don't like it when the music changes. It's like when you're playing a horror game and then it suddenly says, The game has saved. Yup, you're screwed. <laughs> Something bad is about to happen. All right, let's go check out the big tree again. Uh-oh. Oh, it's begun. It's begun, everybody. 
We are rising. Perhaps because we stepped foot in the cemetery? Looking for some meaning <laughs> in, in other, otherwise... A place without meaning. Although now it feels like color is starting to come back. You know, like there's some greens. The trees are kind of orange, brown. Let's get back on the ground. Yeah. I'm not rising anymore. Ha! Oh, doubt! It caught up with me. Dang it! Oh, I suppose... Oh, it might... You know what it is? I figured it out. There must be... Like an invisible ground that starts at level zero and that slowly rises, and then once it catches you, you start to rise. But if you find yourself on a taller piece of terrain, you're still walking until that level catches up with you again. Um, I would go back to the cemetery, but we're not going to be able to see it underneath the clouds. So we'll just hang out near the tree. Since that's that's what happened the first time I figured this out. Oh, what if I get to the church? Will that random stuff start to jump up out? Okay, let's see if we can get over there. It's like flying in a dream. You just gotta clench your butt and go. We can make it. Right, I'm getting far away from the tree. Yep. It is the tallest peak. Not ready yet. I still have some more exploring to do. Never did see any northern lights effect. Oh! Camelapalapodids! <laughs> this is dang meteors. Yeah, here we go. Alright, now we're going to actually be walking. Yeah. And we can walk down until we hit that invisible... rising floor. Ooh, a satellite. <laughs> oh, we've hit it. No, I'm not. No, no. All right, this is still higher. I'm going to stay with my feet firmly planted on the ground as long as I possibly can. Oh, yep, it's catching me. Up, 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 up. No. Dang it. Huh? Oh, there goes another satellite. International Space Station. Fly over. Can we see inside the church now? It's nothing. I was fooled. It's just a cardboard cutout. It's only a model. Hello, moon. Up, oh, up. Oh, we're losing sight of everything. It's like being sunken in a tub of milk. <laughs> Ugh. Who allows this guy to do Let's Plays on YouTube, really? Up. Oh. No. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Purgatius. 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 A mod, a remix of Proteus, like I said, links in the video description, available for free on Venus Patrol, but requires, it requires, <laughs> excuse me, the full version of Proteus, which I also recommend you check out and buy. It's a cool, cool game. Cool game and yet another check off the list of all these amazing indie games and mods and things that I, I want to be showing you guys in, in the coming months. Thank you so much for watching. Click that little like button if you enjoyed this and, and want to see more similar things. You want me to hunt down similar things like this to, to play on the YouTubes. I do appreciate it. My name is Kurt. I will see you next time.